For nearly a quarter century, consumers have been barred from the prestigious Consumer Electronics Show, but this year, the public's finally getting a glimpse of what the video and audio world holds in store. Dennis Michael reports. The floor is usually walked by feet clad in Italian loafers, but the sneaker became the footwear of choice on Saturday and Sunday at McCormick Place in Chicago, the home of the summer Consumer Electronics Get closer to the consumer and share with we don't want technophobes out there afraid of using our products. So we've opened our doors to the consumer for two days as an experiment. Few old hands at the Consumer Electronics Show were neutral about the experiment. Some came to the show specifically to meet the public. Some refused to go on the floor. Others closed down before the crowds arrived. The show the consumers did see seemed to dazzle. It's uh, too big. It's just a lot of stuff to see at once. That's great. I wish I had something to ride around. It's so big, you know. You could spend a week here, actually. Consumers weren't allowed to buy, but some attending actually did spend the time. Video magazines sold and conducted guided tours. Those are the guys in the green hats. We invited our readers to purchase a tour package. We have two groups today, and they are touring the show floor as VIPs. While some were getting their photo taken with RCA's logo dog, Nipper, others were listening in on what may be the future of audio, the digital compact cassette. It's very quiet. Uh, it's very clean. It sounds like CD quality from what I can hear here. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like uh, CD to me. Sounds like compact disc to me. It, there's no difference as far as I can tell. It was impossible for the public to make comparisons between the digital compact cassette and Sony's new competitor, the mini disc. Sony exhibited off the floor at a Chicago hotel and wasn't available to the public at CES. The Electronic Industries Association has declared the experiment a success and claims more than 98,000 consumers came to the Consumer Electronics Show over the weekend. But whether or not the doors will be opened again next year has yet to be determined. Dennis Michael, CNN Entertainment News, Chicago.